And in the back of the bar, there was a table set up, and there was a group having dinner. And the group was Sinead O'Connor, Van Morrison, Ronnie Wood, and Shane McGowan. What a group. That's and like a super I group. Thought, like, yeah, th that's something you're never going to see. And I knew Ronnie Wood. Yeah. And so he invited me up to say hello. And I introduced myself, and I said hello. And I couldn't help but notice, this is how we start our conversation, that Sinead O'Connor was drinking milk. Well, good honor. And everybody else was not. <laughs> and I sat down, and then the, you know, the cardinal mistake of politics and, ah. and the history of politics was started being discussed. And Shane McGowan, who I did not know, uh, he and I did not share a similar view on the history of Scotland. <laughs> and before you know it, the two of us were fighting. And we were rolling around on the floor, and I remember Van Morrison <laughs> laughing. And I won't get into the fight that yes. much, but it ended. Yes. And I got up and I said, you know, I'm, I'm embarrassed, I'm very sorry, and I walked away. And Shane McGowan at that time had a cast on his right arm that looked as well lived in as anything I've ever seen. <laughs> and he did not have a lot of teeth <laughs> no, at the no, time either. No, no, that's changed since yet. So fighting just seemed unfair. <laughs> so I excused myself and I, I went to the bar and I had a drink and, and about three hours later, the bar's almost empty, everybody's gone and I get a tap on the shoulder and it's Shane McGowan. And he says, oi, I need a place to stay. And I said, you gotta be kidding me, three hours ago we were fighting on the floor. He said, that was three hours ago, now I need a place to stay. <laughs> and I said, well, what about your mates? And he said, they're gone. And I was so kind of impressed with his directness that I said, well, do you want a drink? And he said, sure. So we sat and I had like the last that. drink, walked back to my hotel. Uh, I got out a bunch of blankets and I made a bed for him on the couch and a pillow and he went to sleep and I went to sleep and I got up in the morning expecting him to still be there because it was quite early. And all the blankets were perfectly folded. You couldn't have done it better. The pillow was on top of the blankets and Whoa. as I looked over to the desk, there was a note that he had written on the hotel stationery. And it was the most beautiful letter I'd ever read. Really? Uh, it was like poetry. And it was just a thank you note. It, but it was so generous and uh, the things he had to say about me and our night and yeah. humanity and everything. And it was quite long. Yes. Uh, and I've still got this letter to this what day because it changed my perspective. I can imagine. Uh, don't judge a book by its cover and yeah. very rarely trust first encounters.